Hello everybody, welcome to Robo Shark. I apologize for not posting any videos like as of late. Um, just, you know, working, it's getting me tired. Uh, before I continue on what my thoughts about this so far is everything, one thing I want to get out of the way quick is that I hope that everybody is at that they're at home, they're staying safe, they're keeping the social distances from people, you know, they're washing their hands and everything. Um, they're not supposed to touch, you know, the face and everything, but I don't know how, what you're supposed to do when your face itches. And I hope that also that everybody is also getting their stimulus checks as well. I haven't got mine yet, but I've heard that it is coming, but I just don't know when I'll get it. But I hope everybody else got theirs or is either continue working at home or continuing to go to work to go to their place and work if now if not I sincerely hope that everything gets back to the way they were before the horrible coronavirus COVID-19 started. Um, Said I want to get rid of is what I've ordered thus far. Um, I thought that I might want to share with you. Um, first thing I want to do is that I bought myself two new Joy Cons for my Switch because the other ones that I got actually don't work. So I bought these new ones. They were a little bit cheap. I forgot how much, but. They work just fine. The buttons may be a little bit weird and backwards and all, but still works the same. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do, show you guys is this. That's right. I got the Legend of Zelda Master Sword Keychain. I'm going to put this on my keychain as well. And also... I got the necklace too, look at that. Master Sword Necklace 2 and Master Sword Keychain. You can't tell me I don't like Zelda. Can you? Probably not. Um and this I just got this like about a couple of days ago. It's this past week. It is the Legend Zelda Master Sword Umbrella. I, did, I wish it was the real sword, but I don't know if I want to get one or not, but this is the Master Sword Umbrella, and to me, I think this is like the coolest thing that I can ever get myself. Got that, and also, I got two games that are, you know, old, not old old, but I didn't get it for a while, and one's like new to me. So, I got myself The Witcher 3. I love this game. I love it. I enjoy playing it. I haven't gotten as far as my son has because I, I got other games to, I'm playing that I'm trying to finish up too. Um, next one, guys, Friday the 13th game. I wanted to get this so bad when it came out. Now that I have it, um, I played it a little bit and... It, it's cool. The killings are like, just like in the movie, it's like really ordinary, you know? And my last one I got is Into the Dead 2. Now this is, well, now if you're not familiar with Into the Dead 2, this is the sequel <coughs> to the first Into the Dead that was on the mobile. And I've tried it and it's, this one's a little bit different because on this one, um, there's at least a story mode in this. And it's really cool. And you get to, you know, also upgrade your weapons on this one too. So, 
that's cool as well so I would recommend this one and another game that I got hard game I got I got it on digital not on hard not physical because I think you could only get it on digital and that was Rise of Insanity I haven't played that yet but I've been busy playing other games as well, trying to finish them up before I play with the new ones. You know? So. Well, enough about that. Uh, third thing I want to get out of the way now is that it's fucking, excuse my language, it's coronavirus and Trump. Now, Trump says that he wants to open the economy as fast as he can. Um, can't do that. You cannot do that because there's still counties, countries that are still getting virus, current virus cases. There's still deaths going on. Same down towards where I am. There's still cases of viruses. Um, there's also has been a couple of deaths now this way where I'm, where I'm living around where I'm living at right now and to open up the economy as this soon it's not a good idea because let's say that it, everything is like all slow down and, and everything okay and we slowly open up the economy okay as soon as we do that what's going to happen is that Somebody's going to get in contact with the virus again, and then we're all back to square one. So, my advice to Trump is that do not open the economy yet. It's not the good about time. And another thing is that Trump says that once our president, since our president, president has all the actions, all the authority. Bull crap. Being president does not mean you're above the law. No one is above the law. I don't care if you're the judge. I don't care if you're the queen. I don't care if you're the king. I don't care if you're Jehoshaphat. You know, I don't care if you're King Pumba. Okay? I don't care if you're uh, the freaking queen of France. Okay? I don't really care. Nobody is above the law. No one. So, I don't know what in the world Trump is talking about. No one is above the law. Period. And I'm also getting sick and tired of Trump saying that he knew nothing. Listen, Trump, you know about this coronavirus when it hit China. Okay? It hit China and, you know, you didn't do nothing about it. You honestly didn't do nothing about it. You just left everything open. And, you know, then the virus came over this way to the States and everybody was getting sick. And, and then, after that, you closed the border. You closed down airlines, travels, everything. You could have done this bullcrap as soon as you heard that the virus was over in China. You could stop border. You could freaking put up the border, closed it up. You could have canceled flights and everything, and we would still be okay. Everybody would still be able to have jobs and whatnot. But no, you acted too late. This stuff started like in January, and also heard that you heard that one person within the states had was contacted with the virus and yet you did nothing you didn't close no economy up you didn't close the economy up you didn't close nothing you didn't shut nothing down you kept coke going the only time you shut it down when it was starting to get worse and worse and everybody was getting con more contact with the virus that you know You say, oh, and another thing, the way that you also talk to the press, the journalists and that, I have never seen such a childish act from a president 
in my life while I'm talking to the journalists. Fake news my ass, okay? You're just covering everything that they say is true. It's just that you say it has fake news and you're covering it up. You're throwing away every kind of sh shred of evidence that there is that you have done wrong and you're covering up. And now you're cut funding into the WHO, <coughs> excuse me, the World Health Organization, because what? The help of China? The key word in that word, health organization, is the first word of that word. World. World Health Organization. That means they go around the world helping people. And now you're going to cut their funding. That means you cut their funding. Then what happens? More people get freaking sick around the world. So keep doing what you want to do. Keep screwing up. Stop saying that these are fake news that we're getting. Because it's not fake. It's not fake. So, so you tell me if it's fake news that people aren't actually dying, people are not having these catching this uh, virus. So that's fake. Okay, all right, that's all fake news. Oh, it it, it just amazes, amazes me how much stupidity that Trump has. When he's in office, you know, you're, you're also looking at a guy who doesn't attend meetings or anything like a president should. And not say that this is all going to go over like the flu in April, the warm, warm weather's going to come, it's all going to go away. Bullcrap. We're about mid-April, okay? The mid-month of April. It, it, it's not going away. People are still getting sick, and people are still dying from this. When are you going to freaking realize, open up your eyes, open up your damn brain hole, and realize that you are not doing what you are supposed to do? You know, I hope for the sake of the people, that you do not go run as president for another few years. I hope that Joe Biden gets into office and that Bernie Sanders joins him as vice president. And they both run you out of office. Because Obama knows that Joe Biden would be a perfect candidate for presidency. Same thing with Bernie Sanders being vice president. And I agree that Biden would be a great candidate because I know for a fact that he would do a lot more better at taking care of problems and, you know, listening to journalists and not acting like a full sport brat in front of the journalists. You can't even conduct one simple, serious, meeting with the journalists. I mean, come on. Insane. <sighs> and if anybody saw, I'm going to, I'm just going to stop the Trump because my brain hurt, my head hurts now every time I talk about him, but did anybody see or watch WrestleMania 38 on the WWE Network? You know, I don't know how many views it got. But, I mean, we all know that Drew McIntyre is the new Universal Champion. Thank God. I've heard Brock's taking time off. But I've also heard that wrestlers are getting fired because of this coronavirus crap. And then because, the reason why they're getting fired is because of money issues. Just 
bull, bull crap. Oh, and this past Friday on SmackDown, we got new tag team champions. And that's the new day. Eight time tag team champions. Thanks to B win, winning that triple threat with the tag team titles on the line. That was the new way for it being to be taken done. So, that was new on me. And... Also, they're going to continue with the Money in the Bank thing. And we all know that the main event at the Money in the Bank is going to be Braun Strowman, WWE Champion, going up against Bray Wyatt, former WWE Champion. Oh, wait a minute. Let me rephrase that. Braun Strowman's the Universal Champion. Finally getting a title. But then he's going up against Bray Wyatt, former Universal Champion. And, you know, that is just going to be... I saw the match between Bray Wyatt and John Cena. The Firefly Funhouse match between them two. What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? I did not know the Firefly Funhouse was going to be little skits of what happened in the past. That was nuts. I don't understand it. So, oh. Oh yeah, I also want to point this out. I was on eBay a couple days ago and I bought myself an Ouija board. That's right, I bought an Ouija board because, you know, everybody, that, I've seen YouTube videos and everything that when people use the, the Ouija board, you know, contact spirits and everything, and where things happen and all that. I told my son about it. He wants nothing to do with it. Because he's afraid that something is going to happen. But, once I get the Ouija board, once it gets here, I'm going to set everything up. I'm going to get candles. I'm going to light them up. Then I'm going to turn the light off. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do the same with the Ouija board. See if anything happens. Now, if anything does happen, at least I'll have it recorded on tape. And you guys get to see it firsthand. But, I'm going to, uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, I understand that when I watch the videos, I mean, it can't be done with magic tricks and everything, but, and it's also edited and that, but, to actually have it done like that in person while it's being recorded, and if I was watching it for the first time, I, I just, it's gotta be like some kind of coincidence, so, uh, but I have an open mind about the paranormal, um, I have an open mind about the spirits, ghosts, and everything else. I have an open mind about that we're not the only ones out there. There's some things out there in the universe that we can't explain, but we're not alone in the universe, you know. Um, so... I'll be recording it, and you'll be seeing it live on the tape, and honestly, you're going to tell that my video is going to be legit because I do not know how to edit videos, I do not know how to edit the other ads, special effects crap and all that, I don't even know how to do special effects and everything, so... Everything is going to be done, and everything is going to be legit. So, with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. 
Um, the next time when I do a video, I'm going to do it when I have the Ouija board here. And I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to record it. Record with me unboxing it, taking it out of the box, and doing all kinds of things with it. Following instructions and all, so you guys get to see this, what's going on, minute by minute. So, with that in mind, everybody, just stick to the safe guidelines. Keep washing your hands, keeping yourself clean. Stay, keep your distance from everybody else. Keep washing your hands. And don't be going outside as much. And come close to other people because, you know, you may never know. You might get the virus and then you're going to regret for not doing what you're supposed to do. So, with that being said, stay safe and see you next in the next video. And that's the bottom line because I said so.